All right, hi guys. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, <clears throat> I hope some of you that uh, have done the surgery so far are recovering well. Uh, I just want to give you guys a little bit of an update on my current situation. At 14 weeks, um, yesterday marked the 14 week mark. I'll just give you guys a little quick update on what has happened in the meanwhile so far. Um, I've been gymming a bit more aggressively the last while, um, especially focusing on the back region and the chest. Uh, especially the back to help alleviate some of the strain and the pain. Um, I can report that training does hurt significantly, especially in the night time. Um, run about, let's say from half past 5, 6 p.m. Um, in the afternoons, there is quite significant pain. Um, the last two nights I woke up, um, need to drink some pain medication due to the effects of the pain. So, yeah. Um, what I can report as well that certain things are getting easier but the pain definitely hasn't totally gone yet there is a lot of discomfort in the bar uh, especially in the evenings at night time so yeah um, I still have a lot of pain in the front of the sternum over here um, especially the over at the top over here where the dent was my dent was basically right there that was the indentation now the funny part is this chest was normal I've got an asymmetric uh, the six of autumn. Um, this chest was totally un... I can't say it was untouched by the pectus. Now the funny part is I've got the most pain between the part of the chest that never had pectus and where the pectus starts. So I'm assuming that's the the deepest depth of the pectus. Therefore, I've got a lot of pain there. Um, the bars on the sides as well, the attachments, give quite a lot of problems and I think that's just the stabilizers that are um, activating. And um, things are getting a little bit easier. I went to go camp for the first time last weekend. Um, it was challenging, but it was bearable. Um, I've got some back pain, especially on the exact opposite side where this indentation is. I've got a lot of pain on the opposite side in my back. Um, so that's my rhomboids that's acting up. So the funny thing is whatever happens in front happens in the rear. So yeah, um, all in all, I'm trying to make progress. Uh, I've decided I'm not gonna gym for the next month or so, as seen it is December at this moment. Um, so any progress that I do try to make right now is gonna be kind of a little bit pointless. Um, in terms of resistance training, I will do a little bit of cardio and stuff, but I decided to just let my body chill a little bit in terms of the weight. I don't think the body is entirely ready yet for weight, so. Um, or the intensity thereof. So, uh, like I said previously, I do stick to lighter weights at the moment. I'm not doing anything funny. I'm staying to the very basics of, you know, normal lat pull downs, etc., etc. And um, I'm in significant pain in the evening because of that. So, yeah. Um, I'll probably update you guys in the next week again. Um, so far, I don't think I can report anything that's changed other than, you know, previously. Um, I notice just some things do get easier um, and some things are still the same. So I guess this is just a waiting game until I get to the six month phase. Uh, I've seen a lot of guys talk about six months to 10 months. Um, it's basically the sweet spot in terms of pain relief and discomfort, etc, etc. So I guess I'm just trying to survive to I get to the six to 10 months mark. Yeah. Um, all right. I think that's pretty much all I can report for right now. Um, those of you that are getting the surgery, good luck, and I'll see you in my next video.